Oh, uh, gracias. <laughs> How was your trip to Mexico? It was great. Thank you so much. What was your experience in animating great heroes? Uh, uh, Grandes Héroes was a was a huge pleasure Grandes to work on. It was uh, I've been on the show for about two years, uh, and it's been full of challenges, but it's been really rewarding to, to get to see the final product and see how it all comes together. Um, you know, we, we, we did animation in about nine months on this film, uh, just in within nine months. What was your biggest challenge within the animation? What was the greatest challenge in this animation? I think the biggest challenge for, for my department was the, the spectrum of animation. We had more action sequences than we've ever had on a previous film. Uh, we had about six or seven action sequences, and they were on a much bigger scale than we've ever done. We also have you know, a lot of very subtle performances um, from our main characters. Um, and then we have everything in between, including Baymax. And Baymax was his own challenge um, because he's... He needed to remain incredibly simple, but he needed to say so much with, with little amount of movement. So all of those things combined were a huge challenge. How did you do to make life, uh, to give life to this so special character? Now that we talk about Bayless. He's he's a huge challenge. We, we, we wanted him to, to feel robotic. And, and a lot of robotics is about efficiency of motion and um, the smartest way to get from A to B. And a lot of times that's a very simple motion. And so what we did was we tried to limit ourselves to, to a palette of, of choices, blinks, head tilts. No sé, por ejemplo, um, raising up, lowering, and if you pick the right choice at the right time and give the audience enough time to put themselves in Baymax's shoes, uh, they project their own emotions onto Baymax. So if one could, uh, a blink could say he's happy, and another scene a blink could say he's sad, or he's confused. Um, and so it was always about making sure we were making the right choice and about it the right time. So we were always making sure we were making the right choice and about it the right time. So we were always making sure we were making the right choice and about it the right time. With what character did you identify yourself most and why? I think the, the reason I joined this film and the character that I identified most was, was this guy. Um, I think he's the one. Um, but uh, he's, he's a younger, he's a younger <laughs> brother, I'm a younger brother, um, and, and I really like his intelligence and his, and his intelligence. And his focus. And, uh, he went through some development over, over the course of the production, but he was always this very confident kid, and he had so much going for him, and I liked it when he was in the beginning of the film. He isn't quite sure how to use all of the gifts that he's been given, and over the course of the film, he realizes that he's been given what he's been, what he has, and 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 Independently from Baymax, we see a great animation in the microbots. How could you do this? The microbots were, were a huge uh, challenge because they were a collaboration between all three departments. Uh, for the most part, they were handled by the effects department because it's, it's a they simulation of, of sometimes millions of, of microbots in order to accomplish it. So what we would do in animation is we would sometimes do a sketch of, of the shape that we wanted the, the microbots to take. Or we would do sometimes to make these you know, primitive shapes in order to, to create the effects department while we were envisioning what we were envisioning while we were interacting with Hero or Baymax or Yokai, the, the Max Man, um, and, uh, and then they would have to pick it up and they would give it back to us, and so there was a lot of cross-departmental collaboration, um, but they did a fantastic job, and the, the microbots were very threatened and very real. In one word, how would you describe your experience in the film? Fun. Divertido. Uh, Espero. That's hard because there, bueno, there's so many pieces in that hay tantos puntos en so, esta producción. Say, o sea, line, que momentos, pero bueno, fue divertido. Yo creo que fue una experiencia de aprendizaje maravillosa. Fue divertido poder jugar con estos chicos durante dos años y conocerlos y poder de su vida. Y fue algo muy importante poder experimentar un momento tan intenso en la historia, pero de manera global fue muy divertido. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Zach.